very exciting because we have two gentlemen who are nominated for the Fantastic of Beale Street Could Talk, composer Nicholas Patel and director and writer um, Barry Jenkins. How are you feeling? Yeah. Feeling good, man. Feeling yeah. good. A little chilly, but good. This is not cold. I'm from Miami and I live in LA. <laughs> I'm from New York and I'm cold. cold. <laughs> what, what does it mean when, when the film is recognised both for this wonderful adaptation that, that you've made of this film and also for the music? Because you two have got a very special relationship working on Moonlight previously. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, for me, uh, James Baldwin, uh, who is, wrote the source material of the novel that we adapted from, uh, was a big cinephile. And so to see his name associated with the British uh, Academy uh, means everything. And then as far as Nick goes, I just feel like our partnership um, takes the, the art to a different place that it can't get to otherwise. And so to see him recognized means, you know, I feel like a, like a, like a proud father. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know too much about James Baldwin in this country. Is it, would that be a novelist that you grew up with? Yeah, you know, I, I actually, and in, in, even in the States, it wasn't until I was after uh, I was out of undergrad that I first discovered James Baldwin. You know, unfortunately, like a lot of black authors, he's uh, lesser read, you know, than his white peers. Um, but I think he's having a, a renaissance right now, or at least the world is catching up to him. So again, um, I think it just feels really damn good to see the work recognized. Have you thought about the possibility that you might have to get on that stage tonight and make a speech? Have you got some things running through your head that you might want to say? There are a few things that I think I would want to say. <laughs> I can I can already think of one thing, one person I want to thank. So, uh, <laughs> but it's almost uh, it's it's hard to imagine. You know, uh, it's such an incredible honor just to be here in the first place. And I think you know, like Barry was saying, I mean, it's so special working on a project like this and sharing it. And I think when it actually gets recognized at this level, um, it's something very, very, very meaningful. Oh, you're looking great, but I have to say, this isn't your first rodeo. For a man not to turn up with socks <laughs> is... Ray, Ray. This would be a questionable choice in, in, a, in, a, in a British winter, my friend. It's, it's my style, bro. It's my style. I, I got to keep doing like it. You say it's <laughs> LA Miami, he baby. Just tilt down, he tilt down. <laughs> I didn't make him do that. We could do it with the girls, we could do it with the men. Come One on. last question. Oh, I, I, was, uh, I read that you're going to be adapting Underground Railroad, which is just it's one of my favorite books of the last couple of years. Yeah. Where are you with it? And you must be so excited about yeah, it. Yeah, so we're, we're casting, we're location scouting, finishing the scripts. We're actually looking at quite a few actors from the UK, of course, because um, we don't discriminate. Um, and so, yeah, it's uh, we're going to start shooting the summer. So I'm very uh, excited about it. It's nice to be in the award season, but have something that's being created while you're still talking about this thing that's already been created. Yeah. yeah. Listen, it's so great to see you both. I wish you all the best luck in the world tonight. Thank you, and, my dear. Uh, yeah, have a great night. Thanks, Good luck, guys. Chat. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.